Tonight, an up-close look at city of Milwaukee election workers. So right now, I'm just counting them, see how many we have in. Collecting and securing hundreds of absentee ballots from the 15 ballot drop boxes citywide. And that's what you do, you see it, you seal everyone just yep, like that. You take the count. Tuesday's primary, the first step for Milwaukee voters picking a new mayor for the first time in nearly 20 years. In a city seeing historic crime levels in the midst of a pandemic. Seven candidates on the ballot, the top two moving on to the April general. The candidates across the city Monday. Well, I feel uh, really good about where we are. Um, obviously, we're going to continue to work uh, as long as we can, as hard as we can, until the very last minute. A last minute push for votes in neighborhoods citywide. We're knocking on doors all day today. We just came from a phone bank. Volunteers are out. We're texting voters. An unusual primary and campaign. The candidates themselves even unsure how it all shake out. I'm excited uh, about this opportunity. Having said that, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's like you're on a banana peel every day. It's You've so worked. short. Yeah. It uh, is so cold. <laughs> And um, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Hey, how you doing? Doing? how's our next mayor? Now down to the final hours, vying and needing every single last vote. We're feeling good. Uh, we've been around the city and talked with a number of voters. Everybody's uh, looking forward to a change here in the city of Milwaukee. And Matt joins us live downtown. Matt, you mentioned absentee ballots. Voters can still drop those off tomorrow. Yeah, Patrick, up until 5 p.m. at those 15 ballot drop box sites across the city, election officials will start counting absentee ballots at their central count location beginning tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.